We've all been there editing our first videos, using a new editing program, not knowing what to do other than cutting out those ums and ahs from our videos. I'm going to show you five simple techniques to instantly improve your videos in LumaFusion. And if you stay tuned to the end, I'll show you how I transform these boring clips into these more dramatic ones. And whether you use LumaFusion on your phone, your tablet or computer, all of these techniques should hopefully help you if you're just dying out on your creative journey and so far editing isn't your thing. I guarantee this video will turn you from a doubter into an editor. The first technique is adding music and sound effects to your videos. Both when added correctly have the ability to establish the mood, emotion and energy into your videos. Let's look at this clip of me running. Without music it's quite boring but let's play that same clip again with some music. And already, without me doing much of anything else other than adding that music, it just means so much more already to you, the viewer. Music and sound can help you tell a story, emphasize a point that you're trying to make, or transition between scenes. Within LumaFusion, there is a built-in library of royalty-free music and sound effects from Storyblocks that you can use in your projects as long as you have a valid subscription, although there are a few free assets as well. The second technique is using B-roll in your videos. And if you don't know what B-roll is, well, it's the additional footage that editors use to cut away from your main shots or your A-roll, so sort of like this talking headshot, this is classed as A-roll. B-roll can add context, variety, and interest into your videos. It can also help you cover up mistakes, jump cuts, or boring parts in your main shots. Let's look at this clip. I'm talking about the earphones that I reviewed in a recent video. Instead of just having the talking headshots or A-roll, I've included some additional footage that backs up the point I'm making and hopefully keeps the viewers interested too. But just like sound effects and music, Storyblocks within LumiFusion is the easiest way to get footage into your project. But there are other places where with a subscription you can download footage, music and sound effects for your project. For me, I'm using Artlist for the music and sound effects that you might have heard in my recent videos, including the clips that I've transformed that you're gonna see at the end of this video. Third technique is adding text and titles to your videos. Text and titles can help introduce your topic, highlight key points, add captions, create calls to action in your videos, and once again, LumaFusion has a title tool that lets you create and customize text and titles within your videos. The fourth technique is adding transitions to your videos. Transitions are the effects that you use to switch between different video clips or scenes in your videos, just like this. Transitions can help you make smooth and seamless changes or add some flair and style to your videos, just like that. See what I did there? LumaFusion has a wide range of transitions that you can apply to your own videos. I made a video up there where I go through all of the transitions within LumaFusion. The fifth and final technique, and the one which can be optional, is using color correction and grading to enhance the look and feel of your videos. There are the processes of adjusting the color, the contrast, the brightness, saturation, and other aspects of your videos. It can be quite daunting to want to make changes to the look of your video that you're taking, because sometimes it might already look good, or you might just want to leave it as there are so many sliders and effects to choose from. But sometimes you just might want to just make even the slightest enhancement. Color correction and grading can help you fix any issues with your footage, match the colors of different clips or create specific moods or tones for your own videos. And once again, within LumaFusion, there are tools that will help you fine tune your videos. And you're gonna find out the more you do little things like that, that throughout your journey, you'll find that you're always learning about color correcting your own videos, but that's fine and normal. And as a bonus tip, just keep trying different things with your edits. Experimenting when you're new to video editing is important because it helps you learn the basics of your software, develop your creative skills, and discover new ways of telling stories within your video. Experimenting means trying out different features, tools, transitions, effects, and sounds that are available in whichever video editor you use, whether that's LumaFusion or a different program. And this ever-proving skill set of yours will allow you to express your unique vision and style and make your videos stand out from the crowd. And if you do that, then you'll find out what works for you and what doesn't. And hopefully that will improve the quality of your videos over time. So using all of the tips that I've used in this video, let's have a look at the original clips. We're still having fun. Quite boring on their own, but with all the videos in this video and probably about 20 minutes or so of editing and finalizing, this is the finished product. So 
what do you think of that? This is what the timeline now looks like with the two different video shots, one of my running and one of my point of view, and the five different channels of sound effects compared to just the video clips right at the start of the project. Have you got any other techniques that you would like to add to this list? Just let me know in the comments below. I hope you found this video helpful and check out my LumaFusion playlist after this video. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.